Do you know why it is important for you and I to keep track of the Islamic Hijri calendar? We just started the year 1440. Three, yes, since the immigration of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, from Mecca to Medina. And according to Allah, there's a calendar Allah established. Yes, as Allah says in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the calendar according to him is based on 12 months. Since when? This calendar was established since Allah created the heavens and the earth. These lunar based 12 months is what our worship tied to. For example, when we say, the day of Arafah. When is it? Obviously, it's based on the Hijri calendar. When does Hajj start? When is Eid al-Adha and Eid al-Fitr? And when is Zakah? If you were to pay your Zakah once a year, it's not based on the Gregorian calendar, January or February or March. You cannot say, I will pay the first of every March. La. The first payment or the, of your zakah, the annual payment, is based on the Hijri calendar. The days are different than the Gregorian calendar. We have to pay close attention to that. Even, for example, the waiting period of the one who got divorced, it is tied to the Hijri calendar. So we should have some sort of relationship with it and keep track of it as much as we possibly can. Now, Allah says, out of the 12 months, minha arba'atun hurum, there are four of the 12 that are sacred. There's special emphasis on it. What does that mean? Allah says, This is the right way. This is the way for you to establish your life and run by this calendar. Why? So you make sure you do not wrong yourself, especially in these four sacred months. What are some characteristics of a sacred month? Just like, for example, how we are supposed to be away from oppression, and there's extra punishment for the one who commits sin on these months. Similarly, you will get multiple reward if you do good deeds. As some of the scholars have said, The good deed is multiplied in every location and every time that is known to be blessed. So we have to pay close attention to that. And now we are in the first month of the Islamic calendar, the month of Allah Al-Muharram. And brothers and sisters, in that month, what happened? One of the worst oppressors of all time, one of the worst tyrants, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had destroyed him, alhamdulillah, in this blessed month of Al-Muharram, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved Musa alayhi salam. How do we know this? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, when, not he said, sorry, it was said about him. When he came to Medina, he saw the Yahud, the Jews, fasting on the 10th day of Al-Muharram, the 10th day which is known as Ashura, Ashura, 10, Ashura, the 10th day of Muharram. Okay, so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked him, Ma hadha al-yawm alladhi tasumunah? What is this day that you are fasting? So they said, this is a great day. This is the day Allah saved Musa and his people and drowned and destroyed Pharaoh and his people. And Musa, Musa from thousands of years ago, used to fast the 10th day of Muharram. Why? Shukra, out of gratitude, thanks to Allah that he saved him and the believers with him. Then the people said, as a result of Moses fasting, we fast. So the Prophet وسلم, says, we love Musa. We relate to Musa more than you. So the Prophet وسلم, started to fast the day of Ashura and told the Sahaba to fast it as well. Now you may say, Allahu Akbar, is there a re reward attached to this? Yes. Rasulullah says, وَصِيَامُ يَوْمِ Ashura, The fasting of the 10th day of Muharram. I hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it will forgive all of the sins that were committed the previous year. So all of last year, 1442, and now I'm, I'm saying this in 1443. So all of 1442, Allah would erase all the sins that were committed. Allahu Akbar, just seek to fast this day. May Allah make it easy for you. Ameen, Rabbil Alameen. And work, make sure you work your schedule around this day in a way that you don't miss on fasting. If you wanna book a vacation day, if you wanna delay some appointments, push it a day or two, 
just make sure you don't miss out. And Rasulullah Wasallam, you know what Ibn Abbas said in authentic narration? He said, I have never seen the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam more eager and excited to fast a day out of the whole year, more than the day of Ashura, Allahu Akbar, and of course, in addition to the month of Ramadan. And just one last thing before I end. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, upon knowing that the only the Yahud, the Jews, fast only the 10th day of Muharram, he said, Insha'Allah, by the will of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala, next year, Sumna al Tasa. I will add, in addition to the 10th day, I will add one more day to being different and Allah will reward us as well. And he will fast the ninth day of Al-Muharram. May Allah protect us, Ameer Rabbil Alameen, and make it possible. However, things happen and Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam passed away before the next year came where he said he will fast inshallah the ninth. So brothers and sisters, be sure to fast the 10th of Muharram and add to it the ninth. According to uh, some calendars, the 10th of Muharram, the day of Ashura, the big day Allah saved Musa, will be inshallah as of the year 2021 on August 18th, on a Wednesday inshallah. And check the calendar that you follow in your local area. And also inshallah, the 9th will be the day before, which is Tuesday, August 17th. So if you can do 17 and 18, that's amazing. If all what you can do is 18, then that's alhamdulillah amazing as well. May Allah bless you and protect you and accept from all of us. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.